Hi, I'm Mike Sokol from RV Electricity, and welcome to Video Shorts. Today, we're going to describe how to use a standard multimeter to check AC voltages. Let me show you what I've got going on over here. All the way in the left, I have what's commonly called a variac. It's a variable AC transformer, which allows me to adjust the voltages from zero to 140 odd volts. In the middle, I've got a, um, a basic little south wire uh, manual digital multimeter, uh, which I really like. You can get these um, most anywhere for $20 or so. And as part of a kit for 25 bucks, I really like these. And I also have a little plug-in um, AC wall outlet monitor, which we'll describe how that's used in a little bit. Uh, right now, this is all turned off. Um, let me uh, show you the first part of this. Here we have a 600 volt AC scale and a 208 volt AC scale. Um, and you know that it's AC because it's got a little squiggly line. Right now I have the backlight turned on, but we could turn it off if we wanted to conserve the batteries. I generally like it on for dimly lit areas. We'll describe what this hold button does momentarily. Also notice I do not have my meter leads plugged in while I'm going to cycle through here because if you did and we're applying AC power or DC power, you could easily blow a fuse in the meter or even blow the entire meter. Uh, the only real difference between the 600 volt range and the 200 volt range is the decimal point. So um, it's not really necessary, but here we could say I have 123 point three volts or whatever. Uh, we don't care for the kind of stuff that we're generally working on. Let's get this uh, going. I'm gonna set it to the 600 volt scale and I'm gonna go ahead and apply some power with my Variac. So we're gonna go ahead and take our two meter leads and plug them into the receptacle and we just don't care which one goes in the left and which goes in the right because it's alternating current, it flips its polarity 120 times a second, it doesn't really matter. Let me go turn on my Variac. And you can see I've got about 100, 102 volts in here. As I, as I move this up and down, you'll see these two things are tracking very nicely. Uh, if we wanted to know the exact voltage, we could turn this over to uh, the 200 volt range and we could see we're at 120.8.9 uh, volts. Again, doesn't matter. Um, I'm gonna take it all the way up to like 150 volts. Uh, of course, if you were doing that on your RV electrical system, it would be very, very bad f indeed for anything electronic you had plugged in. You're, we're normally shooting for 120-ish. Um, let me show you what this hold function does. Um, when you push the hold function, it says hold and it kind of locks this meter reading in at whatever your last reading was. So you do not wanna leave that engaged because you could be 140 volts, 150 volts in there and not know it. So always leave that little hold button disengaged. Uh, leave the light on if you want um, and never be spinning this dial when you're in the middle of testing on any kind of, um, of an outlet or battery because again, it would be very bad for the meter typically. I'm Mike Sokol and thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more episodes on how to use meters coming up soon.